I'm on selfie mode. That's always a mistake. <laughs> I'm back with Josh in the woods. Yo. He has been working on his van and he's taken out a bunch of weight here, you're saying? Because basically it was just a bit too heavy. Yeah, it's just too much wood. Too much wood. That's the, always, that's the algorithm, isn't it? Trying to figure out how much functionality, how much stuff, but also it's a car at the end of the day, a van, it's got to get somewhere. I hope we don't have to do too much of that with the hut. But <laughs> as you can probably tell, this is not Gertie. So Gertie has died a horrible death. The MOT came back very negative. Um, and to be honest, I don't have much money and I don't have much time right now because we're trying to do all this production stuff to get everything finished for the year. So I just picked up this car off Steve and Lexia uh, for like 800 quid. It's not particularly useful for the woods, but it keeps me in the game at this point. I can think about it in the new year again, whether it's the right car going forwards. Oh yeah, and then later my mate Vince is coming, so I don't know whether we'll be able to film anything about that. Uh, but he's a great artist and I'd love it if he painted something in here. Today may be the day that I go and ask Chaz to borrow his tractor and see if we can pull the hut out of its divots. Because that's a big part of this experiment is can these huts move? Do they move in the way that I thought they would? Will they fit on the lorry? So if we put a little 4 by 2 in on this side, Josh is saying, and then the other Josh is saying, it, we might be able to fit these windows in down the right hand side, which could be nice. I have always imagined that this door was going to open outwards for some reason. But, one, this metal roof is going to get in the way, so we'd have to cut it even shorter. And two, <laughs> imagine trying to open the door back on myself if I'm standing on these steps. And probably three, it's probably better supported if it's sort of sitting on top of the floor rather than getting pushed around by the wind out here. It could fall and drop all the way down. These are the details that I had not considered. Fall into here. Yeah. Out of four by two, so it's got the strength. Yeah. And then that, you can either, obviously we'll mount the door off this side, but then we can put the latch. Sorry, I'm zoomed right in <laughs> on your face. <laughs> <laughs> we can put the latch in this side, do you know what I mean? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but obviously we need to... You look good, by the way, I must say. Even close up, you look look nice. <laughs> like, just been over and had a good old chin wag with Chaz. And, uh, I mean, our conversations never cease to uh, get me thinking. He's got a lot of good knowledge. He has said yes to the tractor. So hopefully we'll go get some uh, materials, a bit of lunch, and then we'll come back and try and give it a go. Yeah, hinges. <laughs> If it almost goes, it goes. It fits, and there's just enough room for the old gearbox. I don't really want to get your seats dirty. <laughs> Are your shoes off? <laughs> Gertie, we miss you. Yeah, it's a good job this Josh is only about six foot five as well. <laughs> I'm painfully self aware. I found Nick lurking in the woods. <laughs> Nick is the sound designer for the documentary that we're making. It's hidden sound, isn't it? It's all about adding... How do you describe sound Texture design? Texture and colour. Texture and colour. Yeah. He'll make it sound beautiful. Well, I'm sorry, my friend. I live in my head and it gets Nick's got on the old ivories before they breathe their last breath through the trees. Wow. First up right on and it's rolled. So I'm gonna hang the door off this side I think. I tried your throwing the old phone in the air trick the other day. Yeah? Just well we could really do some drone footage. I was like, oh my mate Dave's got a good drone trick. <laughs> <laughs> fucking just spinning sky. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't see the outtakes. Yeah. This is Vince, everybody, my mate. He's actually, we've done some videos before, haven't we? we made some G's. This is a painting that he has made. Now, I've got the prints of, and you may have seen before when we did the Solvi tour, but he's finally brought it down so I can have it, which I really appreciate. But if you haven't seen the Solvi videos, and if you've only come along this year, then go back and check a playlist called Solvi. It's on the channel. Me and Louis flew around the world 30 days to all of these cities. Addis, Dubai, New Delhi, Shanghai, Seoul, Tokyo, Rio, and Reykjavik. It was very different to this year, but similar in nature in terms of just trying to figure out what on earth is going on in this world with all the people in it. 
Good to have you back, mate. Good to have you back. Annoyingly, this was not deep enough. That's where you want it. Oh, yeah? But it sits there. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, Chaz. Oh, I love it. Things are complicated. It's the way we know how. The only way we know how. The only way we know how. To be human, human, human. This is the moment of reckoning. We're just trying to figure out whether a tiddler tractor can do this or whether we need the big boy. And uh, Chaz has kindly come on over with his gear and he's brought the family as well. Hello, mate. Hello. <laughs> All right, let's see. Let's see how you go, Chaz. Are you ready, Josh? It's not happening. Can't see any movement. It's a little bit on the heavy side. I don't think it's happening, and not even nearly. Like not even getting a rock on. There was not. There was nothing. It's heavy. It's seriously heavy. Take two. We're gonna flip it the other way. Spade. But you didn't think you'd be doing this, Vince, when you popped down, did you? It's pretty deep, you know. I'm sure we're not the first people in the world to have had this problem, so I think you just need a massive tractor. It's wetter down there than I thought. Oh, it's moving, it's moving. But there's no heart. <laughs> All right, Chaz is on, on his bike. Off he goes, off he goes with his little tractor. Love it. Well, no, the axle does not look good. I don't know if you guys can see that, but we've kind of twisted it now and it's gone a bit sideways. But look, a lot of people said this would never move. A lot of people were like, oh, it'll move easy, no problem. My thinking is, at least we're now dealing with the reality. We know that the tiddler can't do it. We know that we need to put some sturdy flooring down because it's not as dry as it looks. Once you get under it, it's quite wet in there. So at least we're dealing with the reality and we can start thinking up a plan Chaz said that I should go to speak to the farmer down the road who has all the massive tractors outside his place. He said he, he likes the challenge, so hopefully I'll uh, be able to get, get him involved. You need to rent a big jack and put some boards down, jack it up, yeah. and then straighten that to begin with, and then build your stuff underneath it. But if you jack it up first, yes. that thing, then you can put some hard stuff underneath Yeah, I'm with you. Jack it up, boards underneath, and maybe, to be honest, it might have to be sort of boards all the way out until yeah, it's yeah. turned. Yeah. We have to figure out the arc of it. And then you'll be able to pull it out easy. If any of you got any thoughts, any experience in this, and especially any failures in this, please do let me know. Or a giant jack. Or, or a giant jack, that will also help. I've got a giant jack. you got a giant jack? Who can, who can I verify that with? <laughs> I've got a giant jack. <laughs> Vince is making tracks. You should check out his website, vincentcamp.com. See all the events and stuff like that he's got coming up. He's an uh, amazing creative. How's it hanging? Literally. Oi! It's getting good! Wow, look at that. Mate, you've proper routed it out. How, yeah. have, you, how have you done that? So with a circular saw and a chisel. Oh, okay, so you've gone zzz, t along both of them and then just chipped it out. Just the one. Wow, that's beautiful, man. Oh. Oi, yes, bruv. It's a beautiful life. One thing I should update you guys on is the tour. So if you wanted to come to Bridlington, I hope you got your ticket because it's now sold out. Um, so well done Oakley on selling out uh, Bridlington. Uh, I can't wait to come and see you guys. I'm pleased to announce that we've got Manchester on tour as well. I'm hoping to get Newcastle, Bristol and Brighton. Definitely will be doing Brighton somewhere, somehow. 
I just haven't figured it out yet. All of that is still to come, but please do get your tickets. It's really helpful to know. This is something you can bring your friends along to, even if they don't like YouTube or don't know anything about YouTube, because it's not really about YouTube. This is about the woods, getting alone with nature, and about the kind of how on earth are we gonna navigate this future with everything that is changing in the world at the moment. I'm still not feeling 100%, but I'm feeling a lot better than I did last week. And nice to have everyone here today. It's fun having everybody mucking in and getting on with it. The old letterbox would be good, except just straight through the gap. <laughs> oh well. It's getting dark, but we're getting there. Slow and steady wins the race. Literally tomorrow, I have to go to Spain for th the whole next five days to go and speak to 500 Spanish teachers about learning to be human. I won't go into that now, but hopefully I'll be able to share a link with you when I come back. And it feels like, for me, work is beginning again. The public speaking, I'm used to organising people, not doing tasks like I've been learning all year. Watch this space, things are going to be changing around here. And we will manage to get this hut out one day. <laughs> You'll be back with the bottle jacks, yeah, won't you, Josh? You know that, yeah. yeah, it will be Danger Jenga part two. We got the old smasher in on the side. Now it's time to get the door. They're looking good, though. I'm really dead chuffed with this. these windows. What do you guys think? It's the old door shutting test. It's on its hinges. Is it shutting? Oh, it looks pretty juicy to me, matey. Right, I'm calling it quits. We're going to get some dinner. <laughs> Having a door, it makes a big difference. You ain't never come into a room in your life that doesn't really have a door. Well, at least on the main front of the building. I'm talking absolute rubbish. Take care of yourselves. Look after each other. I'll see you next Thursday at 9 o'clock.